So I'm going to name the game that I'm going to make, and it's a maze game. This button allows you to go full screen with your game to test it. You can switch views to different parts of the project here where you can control the sounds, the costumes, and this is the code. This section here outlines the different types of code that you can have in terms of the categories. And this is the specific code here. Now, the code is located in blocks, so we don't have to type any code ourselves. And when we want to use it, we simply click, drag, and drop into our code area. And if we don't like it, we can delete it. This here is the area where our game runs. Currently, we have a sprite, which is a character, and this one is a cat at the moment. Just at the bottom right here is our level or our stage. Now, we can create any game that we want in Scratch. There are so many, it's just limited by our imagination. However, just to get started, we're going to create a maze game. This game will allow us to quickly create a game and be introduced to all the elements that we need when creating a game. So we can start by creating our level by going to backdrops in the bottom right and uploading a new backdrop. Now the backdrop I'm going to upload is the level template one. So all it is is just a grid. Now I'm actually going to upload it again because I want two levels in my game and I'll make them look differently in a second. So I'm going to change the name of my levels to level 1 and level 2. So you can see that the name of the level is actually defined in Scratch as a costume. So now selecting level 1 and this paint bucket tool, I'm going to paint one green cell in the top left of the game which indicates the start position of the maze. I'm going to paint another cell, red, which will indicate the end of the maze. And all I did there was just scroll slightly uh, using two fingers on the mouse trackpad to get to the bottom right there. Alternatively, you can zoom out. Now what I'm going to do is connect the green and the red with the path that the character can take. This can be any color. Um, I'm just not going to choose a green or red. I'm going to choose a yellow and this path can be in any shape and configuration as you want. Now you can see here I've kind of added a room to my maze. So later on I might have an enemy in there or power-ups. So now that my green and red are connected, what I'd like to do is click the save button. So file, save now. Now following the same steps, click on level 2 and create an alternate path or maze for your level 2. 